So I'm gluing in the half nest. Because this bird, unfortunately, comes from a broken home. I build these little soap operas about the images. It's very entertaining for me. And of course, it's all about me, right? There, that feels stuck down pretty well. And see these lines that are created? I can put it on thick or thin. If I end up going over this with a glaze or something, the glaze will catch in this texture that I'm creating. And um, often, that's a really cool thing. Okay, so I decided that I couldn't just have this one hunk of nest in here. So I tore some little pieces from the other part of it, and I'm going to put those in. I often will put three things or five things in because uh, 53 is my lucky number, and I have three children, and five is the number of freedom. Now look, those are kind of equidistant. So let's move this guy down a little bit. Put him way down there. So see that interval makes it a little bit jazzier than to have everything same. Okay, this is getting interesting to me. I have to put it away for a while, look at it, and decide what else. I have decided that this piece has like hard edges, it's real definite all the way around. And I like to put something down and do something to it. I call this Shapeless Interruptus. I know, it's very scientific and kind of funny and risque at the same time. Okay, so I am going to take this nasty brush and some neutral paint and I am going to drag it over the top and disrupt that shape. Right like that. Now, I will often soften some of those edges. When I work, I like to have a piece of wet or damp paper towel in my other hand so that I can take it in here and soften some of these edges if I want to. So now it's as though this nest that has a definite edge on the shape of it um, kind of dissolves into the background over here. I might ask myself at this point, do I want to disrupt some of the other ones? Well, I kind of like that these sit out on top for some reason, that intrigues me. So I might leave them, but maybe I'll cut through one of them over here. I can also, while it's wet, lift out more if I want to. If it's dry, I'll use alcohol to lift it. Yes, vodka. I know you were thinking that. Okay, let's see. Anything else I'm going to do while I have this neutral in my hand? Let's do an examination here. Okay, this is all quite neutral. It's got greens and kind of a warm neutral. It's got yellow neutral. But when you squint at this, it's pretty nondescript, pretty empty. It's got a little bit of an edge here where that glued on piece is. So I like that big area of nothing. And it moves over into this side, which is also pretty quiet, although it's got this embellishment here with the kind of scribbly line put onto a piece of jelly paper. So I don't know. I think I might leave this for a while. Here are the final adjustments to this piece. I took the neutral and made a stripe through that line. I took the neutral and painted out a little bit of this color change in here, and I let a little bit of it drip through the nest. And I'm feeling pretty complete with this piece. Thanks.